What's going on, guys? CWG here. Welcome to episode 74 on the Ball Hunters SMP. Did you know tungsten is atomic number 74? It's got the highest melting point of any metal. Interesting. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode. Today's the day we finally unlock the Balter Automation mod. I'm very excited for it. Are you? Oh, also, in between episodes, I've actually done some work on the Mega Base. I know. Are you guys proud of me? I present to you the Copper Dam. Yes, I finally done it. I finally built the gate for this dry dock. It's a massive wall of copper, of different types of copper. You got like wax cut copper, some oxidized copper, some slightly more oxidized copper, all being held up with massive deep slate pillars. You go to the bottom here. These are like the big pipes. That way we can flood the dry dock when we're ready to get the submarine out of here. The pipes are pretty simple. There's some black concrete behind these golden bars. That way it looks like you're peering into the void. Pretty fancy. Also, I'm in love with these lights from Simply Light Mod. It makes it look like really industrial and this place looks super cool at night i'll show you once the sun sets i also added some depth markers that way you can tell how deep the water is when we fill this guy up oh also there's a geode down here and i left a little bit of an opening so you can walk into the geode <laughs> it's kind of like an easter egg it's a geode easter egg yes Man, this place is so huge. It's coming along so nicely now. I also added a bunch of walkways so you can get from one place to the other. So if you're standing up here, you're like, oh, I want to get down to the submarine. You could take this little iron bridge here, go around the corner. There's a bridge that walks across the entire dam. Also, more of these dynamic edge lights right across the side here. And you can walk across the bridge, look at the amazing view of the sub and the memes. Look at all those memes. And there's a random zombie spawner over there. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. I don't know what to do with that zombie spawner. I'm just keeping it there for now. But then you can walk up onto this side. And I made a little path down here, which you can walk across, turn around here, go up the ladder. <laughs> And then you can walk across the brow onto the ship. Really cool. Also, these are uh, hanging lights from the fairy light mod. I just love the way the lights like arc. It's so pretty. Just be careful with these guys. If you have too many, it can lower your FPS by like a lot. <laughs> the block palette I use for the wall is right here. Using a combination of wax copper, wax oxidized copper, and wax weathered oxidized cut copper. It's such a long name for these blocks, if you ask me. Also, if you're wondering what this block is, this is a oxidized copper pillar, which is pretty cool. You could take uh, your copper blocks, put them in the stone cutter and get these pillars out of them. That's what it looks like from the side and that's what it looks like from the top. Pretty cool. Now you may be wondering, C-dubs, how did you process that much copper? Did you make a kajillion copper blocks, place them around the world, wait for them to oxidize, wax them and put them in this build? No, I'm way too lazy for that. <laughs> this costs like 13,000 copper. So I'll show you guys how I did it. Oh, well, apparently we got some mail. Why is there a goat in here? Okay, whatever. What do we got in the mail? A bunch of stone and dirt? Why did someone mail me a bunch of stone and dirt? Those pranksters. Wait, why is the bell still going off? Guys, I don't know what's going on. Did we get like pranked with a redstone torch or something? Make it stop. Where the heck's the bell? Oh, it's right here. Yep, like I suspected. Someone put a redstone torch down here, forcing the bell to be on constantly. Wow. Maybe Peeporp pranked us back. Hmm. Yeah, if you guys remember from last episode, we pranked Peeporp by spamming their base with a bunch of vault bronze. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> All right, now what's up with this goat in the base? Stircat is always watching. Huh. That's a bit sussy. So that means maybe Stircat's behind this, or maybe Code and Rob. I know Code and Rob were also acting sus yesterday. Sorry, goat, you're too loud. <laughs> Nucleus explosion. Uh, well, I can't put stuff in my system. Does that mean our colossal chest is finally full? Wait a second, it's just full of cobblestone. Do I not have a void upgrade on my cobblestone drawer? Oh, I don't have any upgrades in my cobblestone drawer. Whoops. There we go. Now there's some upgrades in it. Wait, why is it going up? Why is cobblestone going into my system? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I guess I'll slap a void upgrade on it just in case. Why is cobblestone filling up my system? What is happening? Now I have to transfer all this freaking cobblestone out of this chest and back into- Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. Wait, do you guys hear that? No. I hear the sound of cobblestone. Oh, <laughs> what is this? I don't remember building this. What the heck is going on in here? What kind of gear, gore, pipe, spaghetti madness is this? Oh, no. Well, I think we found the source of the cobblestone. What the heck? What is going on in here? Ah! Okay, okay. Uh, I'm just going to use free cam to see what's going on. 
Oh my gosh. It's literally a create cobblestone generator using three water wheels. Wow. Oh, and then the cobblestone goes into this chest and then it gets sucked into my system. Someone literally built this entire contraption just to clog my system. Wow. I, I mean, I have to admit that, that that's some dedication. <laughs> I'm just impressed. This is like modern warfare attacking me straight from the system. Yeah, we're gonna have to turn this off. I'm sorry. We already have a cobblestone generator at MedCreate Island. We don't need another cobblestone generator. Especially not one with all this gear gore. Oh, I will take the create components though. I need those. <laughs> well guys, give me a bit to transfer what appears to be 30,000 cobblestone into my drawers and I'll be right back. Well, now I know that Rob was definitely involved in this prank. Only Rob would come up with such creative modern warfare pranks that not even I would have thought of. I mean, I'm literally moving 30,000 cobblestone by hand now. It's, uh, it's, it's quite the process. All right, 30,000 cobblestone later. Everything's good now. I'm going to look around the base and see if there's any more prankage anywhere. Uh, well, that didn't take long. You have been ore napped. What? This thing runs but cannot walk, sometimes sings but never talks, lacks arms, has hands, lacks a head but has a face, what is it? Oh my gosh, I hate riddles. And they stole all the oars! Look! Dragon, what happened? I thought you are supposed to guard the oars. Oh, they even took the echo from the eye! They took your eyeballs! What? This is absolute savagery! Who could have done such a thing? All our black opal! No, don't tell me they took the echo. No, they took all the echo from the cage. Oh no, the poor dragon has been eyeball gouged. This is terrible. I mean, this sign right here, I don't know about you, but this this is just shouting code. Code loves using this font in his stuffs and things. I like how I've played with everyone on the server so much now that I can kind of recognize who is who. All right, well, I'm not that good at riddles, I'll be honest, so, uh... <laughs> I have no idea where to look for this. Here, I'll leave it to you guys in the comments. You guys are like very smart sometimes, sometimes. But if you can crack this riddle, please let me know in the comments below. That way I can get my ores back. Please, all my echo and black opal depend on it. And we're definitely gonna have to prank some people back. I think Rob Code and possibly even Stircat were all involved in this. Ironically, not Peeporp, who was the one we pranked last episode, so why did they, uh, I don't know, maybe he hired them, I don't know. Anyways, back on track, in between episodes, I ran a few vaults in order to get enough knowledge for our 256 knowledge shards, which we do have now, I'm proud to say. Let's quickly pop these guys, maybe we get something cool. Not really, but we do get a bit of lemon and a black chromatic steel, so that's definitely a win. Oh my gosh, look at the bounty table. Submit 189 diamonds and get two echo gems? What? You telling me I can convert my normal puny vanilla diamonds into echo? Let's go. I need all the echo I can get now that we've been ore napped. <laughs> all right, well, how about we unlock that mod that the title of the video is about before we got distracted with builds and pranks and stuff? If you see right here, we have 271 knowledge shards. And how much do we need? 32 knowledge stars to unlock the mod. So we need to make 32 cores. Sorry if you can hear dogs uh, barking behind me. There must be a party going on in this house. And now with all of our knowledge cores, we should be able to make it. 32 knowledge stars. That's so much knowledge. How many vault diamonds do we have left? That must have cost a ton. Yeah, we only have 100 vault diamonds left. Uh-oh. We used to have like 400 vault diamonds. Anyways, let's consume. And unlock it. Alter automation. Boom, we did it. Now the question is, how much is it gonna cost to build this thing? Will it cost an Echo Pog? An Omega Pog? I don't know, let's look up the recipe. All right, how expensive is the Alter Conduit gonna be? Moment of truth. And it's an Echo Pog. Okay, at least it's not an Omega Pog. It's gonna cost two black chromatic steel as well, which we should have thanks to the bounty table. We're gonna need a lot of Pogs. Oh yeah. I hope we have enough Pog gems for this because they stole all of our ores. So it's not like I'm going to be able to get any more. Let's see how many pogs we can make. 53 pogs. Not bad. But we're completely out of Gorgonite now. So let us make an Echo Pog. It's so shiny. And Alter Conduit. Boom. Automates the process of completing the vaulter. So I believe the way this works is you have to right click your controller with it and then put it onto the vaulter itself. Now you may be asking C-Dubs, where is your refined storage controller? It's actually all the way over here in the mechanism basement. So do we just right click the controller like so? Oh, Alter Conduit has been bound to controller. <laughs> so now it has access to all the stuff inside of our system. 
Oh, also, I forgot. I was going to show you guys how I aged all the copper, but we got completely distracted by all those pranks. I'll show it to you really quick. Don't worry. Holy crap. We actually went through like 17,000 copper building that copper dam. At least we have like 3,700 copper ore that we can process. So I'm not too worried about it. But here's how you age copper fast. Right here is an advanced chemical injection factory. You just need to hook it up to an oxygen pipe. And then you just slap your copper in and look at that. It oxidizes your copper automatically. Like why would you place copper, let it weather like a peasant when you could just insert it directly with oxygen in order to oxidize it? You know, it's it's, it's actually kind of scientifically accurate, which is kind of cool. You want to oxidize it again? throw it back through now you got the weathered variant and now in order for it to stay in this oxidized state without it oxidizing further you got to right click the honeycomb on it you got to wax it but you could automate that process as well using the advanced combining factory check this out you just throw it in here it waxes it automatically you just have to keep this chest over here stocked up with honeycombs and you can completely automate your waxing process. Awesome. This is how copper aging was meant to be done. All right, anyways, back to the altar automation. So I believe now we just slap it onto the top. Oh, that's so cool. I love the way they made it actually like fit onto the altar. That is such an amazing touch. Now I know there's upgrades you can make like speed, quantity, and teleport. So I guess you can make this thing wireless. Does that mean if you don't use that upgrade, you have to hook it up like via a wire? Does this thing even connect to a wire? I don't know. I mean, I guess I guess we can test it out. I mean, let's just slap a vault crystal on it and see what happens. Ready? Pow! All right. Is, is it doing anything? No, it's not doing anything. Wait, I wonder if you have to hook the cable up to... Hmm. Okay, you can right click it. It opens up an inventory here in which there's four upgrade slots. Yeah, I think we're going to have to make the teleport enhancement in order for this to work. I'm just not sure how you're supposed to do it without the teleport enhancement. Like, how do you connect the pipe up to it? I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and make that teleport upgrade then. It's going to cost another Echo Pog. Oh my goodness. Well, here we go. Another Echo Pog down the hatch. And are we out of Echo now? Oh no, we're out of Echo. We do have a few Echo ore in the system, luckily. They didn't steal all of the ores. We also need to make two of these quantity enhancements, which cost more pogs, and they each require four speed enhancements. Okay, so we're gonna need eight of these, and two of these, and then the teleport enhancement. Okay, that's expensive, but it's okay. We have the material, so we just slap this guy in here, and is it gonna complete itself? That appears to be a negative. Oh, guys, I figured it out. Okay, there has to be some sort of like minimum range for this thing to work with the controller. Okay. Also, without any upgrades, it literally like sends it through the sky. That's adorable. And then if you put in the uh, teleport enhancement, then it automatically like full sends it. Okay. I now understand how this thing is working. The bad news is, I think I'm going to have to remove the controller closer to the vaulter. It means everything's going to break once I break this block. The only issue is, in order to move the controller over to the base, it's going to need power. We have power cables down here that I'm powering this from below, but we don't have any power cables over there. Now, I've been wanting to mess around with this stuff. From the power mod, this is an ender cell, which I think can wirelessly power things. We just have to make one of these ender gates. Which means we have to make an ender core, which means we have to make a bunch of this crap. Give me a second to do some crafting and zapping. There we go. And we got some ender gates. Cool. How do they work? All right. I've been doing some research inside of our power mod manual here. And it says you have to shift click an energy cell with a battery. Okay. So do I just like do this, this? Oh, if I hold shift, this gets lit up. Okay, and I right click. Oh, and it puts it inside. And Okay, I understand now. A weird way to do it, but I'll take it. And now these gates should be able to power this wirelessly, right? So if I remove this power cable, will it still run? It does. It works. All right, cool. We have wireless power transfer. Thank you, power mod. So we should be able to move our controller here, slap down our ender gate, and we have power. Yeah. Now we can take our altar right click the controller slap it on here is it within range look it's sending in the gunpowder that's so cool honestly i kind of like the little animation of the gunpowder flowing through it do we even need this teleport augment let's try to put a speed enhancement in here oh look it goes even faster can we put more speed in here yes we can <laughs> all right let's make the quantity enhancement i want to see how good this guy is 
All right, I've upgraded it with quantity. Ah, you can see it's doing eight at a time now. Hmm. Now, can we stack the quantities? Can we get multiple quantities? Let us waste all of our pog gems. All right, I'm going to put more quantity on it. Let's see if it does more than eight at a time. Yeah, look at that. It's doing half a stack at a time now. Okay, so can we put yet another quantity on it? We probably can, but the altar's already complete. Let's go. Let's craft a new crystal. This is fun. Right, click it on and it should start full sending. Yep. And with three quantity upgrades, yes, it's doing a stack at a time. Okay, let's just make one more speed upgrade. So that way it will go a little bit faster. And yeah, now we can complete our vaulters in no time. Except for the fact that we, we need more netherrack, huh? Why is the netherrack always gone? Oh, hey, look, our bounty refreshed. It's submit diamonds again, and we get knowledge from that. Yo, I mean, we're going to run out of all of our diamonds, but this is awesome. Claim reward. I'll take the free knowledge. Don't mind me, just get in some netherrack, as usual. We always need so much netherrack. Whoa! Now if we drop off our netherrack here, we should see it get sent to the vaulter. Maybe? Ah, there it goes! Nice! Now whenever you're automating your vaulter, I've heard that there's a bug that if you leave the area, it will continue draining your resources. So make sure you always stay in the same chunk as it when it's completing itself. Let's go! Well, we got some interesting quests in our bounty table. Two different ore mining ones that have pretty good rewards. So let's activate both of these and let's go mine some ores. Geronimo! We even get 1x plentiful. It knows that we're looking for ores. You love to see it. Let's put our chest plate and uh, shield on. That'd probably be smart. We got the ice theme. Pretty neat. I'm just going to jump from room to room and look for ores. Oh, it looks like we found an ore POI room in the second room. You love to see it. Now, how much are ores worth? Moment of truth. They're worth... Uh, not that much elixir. That's not ideal. Oh, well. Bounty is more important than elixir. Am I right? Can we get a favor? Heck yeah, we can get a favor. Our favors are now up to 355, and now we got another Wendar on the line. Nice. What is that mob? Oh, wait, that's just like a normal dude, but he's got a funny helmet. Nice. Crikey, there's a spoiler elite down here. Luckily, with the nucleus explosions, it does help fight these guys. And the spiders are worth a lot of elixir, surprisingly. Die. A better question is, where is the spider elite? I know he's down here somewhere. Oh, there she is. So this is going to be kind of tough to get to, safely at least. All right, finally, we can take on this elite. I've had to clear every single POI in this room just to be safe. All right, that should take it down to the little babies. Oh, and they all got Nova. Get the heck out of here. Ah, oh, you got to love that Nova Nucleus. All right, I'm going to go back to finding more ores. Uh, we've only found a few. We're going to need a lot more. Hey, guys, we got a next spark room. I always find it funny in the ice theme vault because there's still those snow particles. Yeah, we're kind of like on a beach. It's like a beach in the middle of a snowy place. Hey, we got the good one. Let's go. How much are ornates worth? We're about to find out. They're worth eh. More like a well-done steak, if you ask me. That's okay, though. Maybe we'll get lucky and get some fundamental foci in these guys. Or a trinket. I haven't seen a trinket come from an ornate chest in, like, a million years. But it is possible. I've seen Peeporp do it multiple times. Omega. Omega. Oh, yeah, I have had people ask, how do you do the X-Mark room now that they've done the update where mobs can swim upstream? Uh, you do it the exact same way as you did before. The purpose of the water was not to push the mobs back. The real purpose of the water was to give you an escape path. So if the mobs spot in, there's still plenty of time to swim upwards and escape. You could even use some hot ghost walk action too. Oh, another elite. Sup, dude? Where's all your buddies? Why are you just chilling by yourself? That's kind of kind of odd, isn't it? <laughs> oh, there they are. Now they're raided in from the ceiling. What the heck? <laughs> Come on, dude. I want to see how many elites I can kill this vault. Yeah, no hidden. Also, it's an ore POI room. So perfect. I need my ores, please. Get nova Yeah. All right, after that ore POI room, we're now halfway done with our Painite and a third of the way done with Alexandrite. Hey, another ore POI room with 12 minutes left. Nice, we should have plenty of time to loot this whole thing. And to drop a Nova Blast right in the center. Whenever the spawners throw a bunch of low health mobs at us, that's like our bread and butter, baby. Whoa, what's that thing? It's like a, a boar. Do you see it? I want to get closer to it. Hello there. It's a Tusklin, like a Tuscan Raider. Ow! Dang, dude, it's got some reach. It can outreach me. That's cool. And they're extremely loud. What the heck? <laughs> and with that room finished, we're getting very close on our Paydite Ore. 
and about halfway done with the Alexandrite. You know, I used to think that Peanite was more rare than Alexandrite, but I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> the numbers don't lie. I hear some pillagers. Hello. Hi. We found a dungeon boy. Oh, I found out from you guys in the comments of last video that the reason they, these guys have been aggroing on me when I use ghost block to buy the spotters is because apparently when you go to break blocks, it cancels this version of the ghost block. Interesting. All right, uh, I think the spotter's at the top of this room, so we're gonna have to rethink our strat here. We're just gonna approach it from the top because it's gonna be easier that way. Hi there. Bye. Ah! Hey, where's your spotter? Oh, there it is. Ooh, and there's an enhancement altar in here. Let's go. Ooh, they're spotting like behind us and stuff. Not good. Stop it, spiders. Please, stop it. Oh no, it's gonna explode. Oh! Oh, ghost walk. Okay, how do I get out of here? There we go. There we go. Yeah, without ghost walk, that would have been a nightmare, huh? <laughs> At least we got the spotter now, though. So we should be good. Holy crap. Calm down. All right, we can loot this dungeon peacefully now. The speed at which these dungeons spawn mobs is kind of bananas. All right, what do we get at our altar? Thank goodness the creeper did not blow this up. We get vault, chest plate, six to seven health. Okay, not going to complain about that. We actually got a useful one. And I ghost walked because I'm excited. <gasps> a freaking library room. Two episodes in a row. Let's go. And I think maybe gildens are worth a good amount. Let's see. Uh, eh. Not really. Still gonna loot it though, because we might get some key pieces. Omega! Library room looted with three minutes to spare. I'll meet you guys back at the base. Well, apparently we were a bit farther away than- Ah! What the heck? That I initially thought I was about to say, but there's a baby elite drowned? What the heck? Go away! Uh, I don't have time for this. We only have 30 seconds. Heal? I think we have to go this way. Alright, I'm gonna have to whip out the bit lemons just in case. I think we're getting close to the starter room. I hope so. Oh, there it is. The portal. 15 seconds left. I think we can make it. No bit lemons necessary. Let's go. <laughs> so we killed three elites this fault, which means we got 20,000 XP and we didn't even complete the objective. Holy crap. You love to see it. As for our bounties, eh, we ended up getting close, but no cigar. We got a pretty good reach jewel though. You know what I want right now, guys? Revenge. People think they can just prank the C-dubs all willy-nilly without consequences? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. So I believe the people behind it. I know Code definitely did the aura thing. That looks like a Code side. I'm pretty sure Rob did the cobblestone thing. That seems like totally a Rob thing to do. And I guess Stircat did the goat part? This is all a guess, by the way. I haven't seen Stircat's episode yet. Let's start by pranking Code, and I have just the idea for it. Oh, Code, you and your beautiful tower. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to it, wouldn't it? We must get to the very top above the clouds. Dang, there's a pretty cool view from up here. Like, look at the view of fuzzy space from up here. That's pretty awesome. All right, so if I did my math here correctly, and I'm assuming that void liquid behaves just like water does and flows eight blocks... I should be able to put a void liquid bucket here and it spreads to all the corners evenly? No, it behaves more like lava. Okay, noted, noted. Well, this should still do the trick. So if we vein mine this guy, the void liquid should start flowing down. Oh, baby. This will teach code not to hide our ores. <laughs> Look at it flow down the satellite dish. This is going to take a while to flow. I mean, look at how tall Code's base is. I just want to make sure it's going to flow all the way down the side of this. Seriously, the liquid stops right at the edge. It looks like it's going to need some convincing. There we go. There, let the void liquid be free. <laughs> Why is there a chicken up here? I don't know. Ah, and look at that. It's going to turn into a beautiful void liquid waterfall. Well, while that's flowing, I say let's get together the prank for Rob. Now, Rob spammed our system with cobblestone. I think we should return the favor, but maybe this time get a little bit icy. So let's craft ourselves a blast chiller and craft ourselves a resonant integral component so we can upgrade it to the max tier and make it even faster by using these guys. Actually, I don't think we're going to need that. We're also going to need a sink, which is a bit expensive. This is going to be an expensive prank, but I think it'll be worth it. All right, off to Rob's space. Now, does Rob have power or is he using simple storage? No, I don't think Rob has power yet. Interesting. Now, it looks like instead of using colossal chests like we do, Rob has a big array of just a kajillion normal chests that he uses for storage. 
Oh my goodness, this must be laggy. Now the next question is, can we use our ender gates to power this blast chiller from here? Oh yes we can! You guys thinking what I'm thinking? All right, I built a little secret path back here. This is where we're gonna set it up. First, we put down our blast chiller. We put down our ender gate to give it power. Good. We put in our upgrades here. We put in a filtered link cable to attach to this. Make sure you configure the side to output to the left. Next up, we're gonna place our sink here and a mechanical pipe. Use our configurator to suck out all the water and it should start forming ice, nice. And it should be getting sucked out by this advanced filter. Even though it doesn't look like it's connecting, it looks like it is getting sucked out. I even brought some speed upgrades in case we need it, but I don't think this thing needs it. Oh, I noticed something. Rob actually has two separate systems. It looks like this is for like his non-stackables, like the chipped rocks but he also has this one over here. I wonder if I can clog both at the same time. Give me a second. Huh, you wanna know something interesting, guys? I think that cable that we used to suck the ice out has been disabled due to like lag reasons. So I wonder if someone else still has one. Hey, if we look in code system, code has a bunch actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna borrow one of those code. Thank you. All right, so I stretched a cable underground that connects to his cables over here. So once it finishes filling up all this stuff with ice, it should then fill up his other system with ice. <laughs> How long will it take Rob to notice that this prank has happened? I don't know. But you can see the ice start to fill his system here. <laughs> well, that means we have one person left to prank. Stir Cat. Huh, it would appear that Stir Cat needs some leaves for her vaulter. Interesting. Well, I think I know how we're gonna prank Stir Cat. Now, clearing out the area for the submarine actually gave us a ton of leaves. Which is good, because as you saw, the vaulter does require leaves a lot. So let's grab our building gadget and help her out. So with a combination of birch, spruce, and oak leaves, Stircat's never going to have to worry about leaves again. <laughs> Look at all the leaves. Oh yeah, ow, I'm suffocating in the leaves. But yeah, we're just, we're just going to put leaves everywhere. It's gonna be great. Do you believe in life and love? Yes, yes. Oh gosh, I trapped myself with the leaves. <laughs> well, let's see how far out we can build with the leaves. Can we build them all the way out to here? Yes, and we're out of leaves. That was like 2,000 leaves, not bad. Oh, the leaves actually went underneath her floor. <laughs> they went into her fog effect floor because of the building gadget. <laughs> She's gonna have a lot of fun getting rid of that. <laughs> Oh, well, there we go. We pranked him back. That'll teach him a lesson. Wait, what's that over there? <gasps> New merch design starting June 1st? Wait, it's June 2nd of me making this video? Crap. I'm one day late, but we got new merch designs. Look at that. I love this one. It's the freaking generator on a shirt. How cool. Could also get it on a sticker, on a bag. Look, the bridge of friendship. That's right. We got awesome new merch designs. And from now until June 5th, everything is 20% off. So make sure you go and grab yourself a shirt. Or if you're broke like me, just buy a sticker. I appreciate the support, guys. Thank you. Link to the stores in the description. There's a slime chunk here. But with that, it's Meme of the Daytime. Today's meme comes from MTUs from the Discord. TWG, you going to sleep? Yes, I am. Shut up. What if the reason you can't find the bottom of that door is because they removed it in the last update? <gasps> I wouldn't even be surprised. <laughs> but with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and buy that. March. CWG, ow.